Hi, I'm Katrina from The Gorgeous Geeks, and I'm here to bring you your geekly news. If you thought it was really cool seeing Leonard Nimoy play Spock again in J.J. Abrams' Star Trek remake and hope to see him again in the next one, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Showbiz 411 has reported that we will not be seeing any of the original Star Trek cast in the upcoming Star Trek sequel. Do you remember hearing about or actually seeing the Wolverine Origins movie that was illegally put on the internet? Well, 49-year-old Gilberto Sanchez, who was the pirate behind the leaked movie, has been sentenced to a year in federal prison. Sanchez has a prior conviction for a similar offense and has been pirating movies for about four to five years. If you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, then you have probably seen the new Bardock special that was released, where you can see the father of Goku turn into a Super Saiyan, and there's a twist at the end. Skyfall will not be Daniel Craig's last Bond movie. It turns out he was just given a multi-million pound deal to do five more Bond movies after this next one. That's a total of eight, and one more than Roger Moore, whose seven year appearances spanned 12 years. Do you want to see more Blade? Well, the Blade anime will premiere on G4 on January the 13th. Are you a Star Wars fan? And do you live in a cold climate? Well, then you're probably going to love these Star Wars crochet hats. Etsy seller BB Kins makes each crochet hat to order. You can find these Star Wars hats by BB Kins on Etsy.com. And now for our hero and villain segment. <laughs> Last week I asked you guys to name the guy that stole a credit card to get a pedicure and my favorite name came from Sci-Fi Girl 92 and the name she chose was Robin Feet. Now for this week and this one is good because I have a video to show you as well. In Hendersonville, North Carolina, a clerk at a We Buy Gold store named Derek Mothershead knocked out a man that tried to rob him and then made the robber clean up the blood off of the floor. Here's the video. There he is, knocking him out. <laughs> Here's another shot. Then he drags him, pulls out the pellet gun that the guy tried to rob him with. Then he makes him clean up his own blood. And then last but not least, he has to be carried out on a stretcher. If he wants money, get a job, work, like everybody else in this world. And just like last week, go ahead and name the guy that punched out the robber that tried to uh, rob him. And I will say my favorite name on next week's broadcast. And now for our YouTube Spotlight. This video has been out for a while, but it's still pretty cool. At least I think so. But it's a parody mix of Batman and the classic Night Before Christmas tale from It's Just Some Random Guy. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through Wayne Manor, not a sound could be heard, especially not laughter. There were no stockings hung and no tree filled with lights, not a single Christmas decoration in sight. Master Bruce in his costume, and I in my robe, were up late on the lookout for evils unknown. I missed Christmas, but he said he didn't have time, none at all ever since the tender age of nine. It saddened me watching him year after year, never taking in joy, only dealing out fear. I say, sir, I pleaded with all of my might, Master Grayson is having a party tonight. Master Drake and Miss Gordon are sure to be there. Why not leave this bleak cave and enjoy some fresh air? I've outgrown Christmas, Alfred, he answered each year. You can go if you want to, but I'm needed here. I sighed and walked upstairs to turn off the lights. Merry Christmas, I said. His reply was, Good night. I walked up to my bedroom, got under my sheets, and prepared to drift off into sweet, peaceful sleep. Suddenly a noise woke me up with such a clatter, I ran to my window for more on the matter. And what should my wandering eyes happen to find but a man in a sleigh with eight reindeer... No, nine! I was off to tell Master Bruce what I had spied. The fat man in the sleigh was in for a surprise. But it was my surprise. He had beaten me there. Just how fast was this man who could sled through the air? Who are you? Master Bruce yelled, demanding to know. The fat man's belly shook as he laughed. Ho, ho, ho! Don't you know? He asked, giving his heels a click. Santa Claus, Father Christmas, Kris Kringle, Saint Nick! The Batman moved slowly, not wanting to harm him. Right, Santa. Let me take you back home to Arkham. 
But the man disappeared. He was gone in a flash, leaving only some traces of old soot and ash. Suddenly he was back just as soon as he'd left. This man was indeed quite fast in spite of his heft. I've come here in peace, said the man. Have no fear, Batman said. Then explain to me why you've come here. The jolly man laughed. Christmas time is at hand. I bring gifts of joy to everyone in the land. The good people come to me with their requests for their heart's desire, and I do my best. I need and want nothing from you, Batman said. Go and take to the streets of Gotham with your sled. The man in red snickered and gave him a wink. The person I'm here for is not who you think. I've no gift for you, though you've done much good, it's true. But the present I'm bringing tonight, well, is you. For when it comes to Christmas, you just disappear. And you leave behind all of the friends you hold dear. Bruce said, Hold on a minute now. That isn't true. I give plenty of presents at Christmas. I do. Gifts of cash, food, drink, clothes, anything I can find. So then how can you say that I leave them behind? Giving gifts is something for which you've had a knack. But the spirit of Christmas is still what you lack. Your gifts are all sent, none given face to face, and you've never even accepted an embrace. If you're given a gift, you just turn it away, denying your friends what their hearts want to say. I know all of their feelings, and they all know mine. Gifts are simply a symbol for which I've no time. Well, Christmas is a time for which I've always felt allowing others in. Let your defenses melt. My defenses are fine. Batman furrowed his brow. It's just a sign of weakness to let them go down. Santa sighed. I have never, as long as I've lived, had to teach tis better to receive than to give. I came here to open up your heart and your mind. You're determined to keep them both closed up, I find. You're just too filled with anger and pain and regret. Probably about both of your parents, I bet. You'd tell them you loved them if you could somehow, just like all of your friends want to tell you right now. Oh, the gift of allowing love to be expressed is one of the greatest gifts that one can get. For the past is behind us, the future unknown. And the moment is all that we have to call home. And so, now I leave you with this to think on. And with that, this St. Nicholas fellow was gone. The master was silent. He was lost in thought. I wondered if this was what that fat man sought. Alfred, he said sharply, giving me a fright. You mentioned something about a party tonight. Soon we were dressed and ready and out on our way. Surely this was a miracle, one had to say. He had come bearing gifts and was going inside when he stopped to look up because he had spied... That Santa Claus fellow! I exclaimed in the dark. Master Bruce simply smiled, looked up, and said, Thanks, Clark. And I heard Batman say as he walked out of sight, Merry Christmas to all. Well, at least for tonight. And that was our Geekly News. If you have any suggestions for our YouTube spotlight, go ahead and create us on Twitter at Three Gorgeous Geeks. And don't forget to check out our website, thegorgeousgeeks.com. I'm Katrina saying goodbye.